Hello, my name is Nicholas J. Johnson, aka Tricky Nick the Magician. That's right, I am a professional magician. I told you so. This is my brand new book. It is called Tricky Nick, and it is the 100% not at all made up story by the greatest magician in the world. This is my life story. This is how I became the magician that I am today. And it's all true, cross my heart. Today, I'm gonna to read the prologue and chapter one of the story. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. Tricky Nick by Nicholas J. Johnson. <clears throat> prologue. Never trust anything a magician tells you. They're liars. All of them, big fat ones. Just watch magicians when they're on stage. There's nothing up my sleeves, they'll say. And then they'll roll them up just to prove that it's true. And you'll lean in really close and you'll swear that there's nothing there, but there is. Even if it isn't a deck of cards or a white dove or a string of multicolored handkerchiefs tied together, there's always something there. Almost every magician I've met has the same thing hidden up their sleeves. Arms. Two of them, actually. And those two lying arms are connected to two very dishonest hands. And those two dishonest hands are connected to ten deceitful fingers. Because those arms and hands and fingers have dedicated their entire lives to tricking people. While the rest of the world's fingers are tickling, clicking impatiently, picking noses, a magician's fingers are at work, practicing. A good magician would never pick their nose. Magicians pick cards, not noses. Magicians are lying to you with their whole bodies, from head to toe. I mean, sure, I've never actually met a magician with a deceitful bum, but that doesn't mean there isn't one out there, somewhere lying through his backside. And I should know, because I am a professional magician. I've spent my whole life pulling rabbits out of hats, sawing people in half, and insisting that everyone I meet picks a card, any card. But the story I want to tell you today goes back before all of that. This is a story from when I was a kid, not much older than you, or not much younger. I don't know how old you are, you could be like a super smart baby who's already learned how to read. Or one of those weird adults who buys kids books. This is a true story, by the way. I didn't make any of it up. So when this book starts taking twists and turns that make you scratch your head and wonder how any of it could be possible, I just want you to remember there isn't a speck of fiction in here. And you can trust me, I'm a magician. Chapter 1 something up my sleeves. I found my first magic trick on the back of a box of cornflakes. Instead of a maze or a colouring competition or a lame ad for a not very good movie about a talking dog, there were instructions for the amazing disappearing coin trick. Do I have a, do I have a 10 cent coin? I asked mum across the breakfast table. The instructions said you needed a small coin. Ten cents should be perfect. I've already given you your pocket money, she said, standing up and taking an empty bowl to the sink. I'm not going to give you more. It's for a magic trick, I explained. I don't care what you're going to buy with it, she said. The answer is no. What kind of magic trick only costs ten cents, Dad called from the laundry, where he was ironing his shirts. Dad liked to iron shirts. Some dads like to tinker in the garage. Some dads like making cupcakes. My dad had his ironing. It doesn't cost 10 cents, I called back. Wait, you want more than 10 cents, mum exclaimed. Well, now the answer is definitely no. My parents gave me pocket money every week for cleaning the car and my room. But I'd already spent that. It just wasn't enough. Once I paid back my friend Gary for money I borrowed the week before and bought a few Snickers at the shops, there was hardly anything left. Mum had decided what jobs, uh, what the job should be and how much I'd get paid. When I asked her why it wasn't more, she'd said, because. Forget it, I said with a sigh. I'll just use a cornflake. 
I took a single cornflake from the box and laid it on the tip of my index finger. Check this out, I said as Dad emerged from the laundry to collect more coat hangers. Then I reached over the cornflakes with my other hand, clicked my fingers, and the cornflake was gone, vanished, disappeared. Mum's eyebrows shot up. Then she smiled in that smug way that only mums can and turned back to the sink. Dad gave an approving nod and went back to the laundry. It's a parent's job to pretend to be impressed by all the dumb stuff their kids do. It's one of those unspoken rules. We know they're pretending, but we don't care. So when we actually impress them, when we really blow their minds, it's pretty special. And I had just impressed my mum and dad. Right then, I was hooked. That was the moment I knew exactly what the rest of my life was going to look like. Suddenly, I was the one with the power. I was the one with the secrets. I was a magician. Now, I can teach you the secret if you want, as long as you promise to keep it to yourself. Yes? Great. We're ready to begin. Are you wearing a jacket or a shirt with long baggy sleeves? If not, go and put one on. I'll wait. Just make sure you've got lots of room around the wrists. You know what? If you want to pause the video and go and get a jacket or a baggy shirt or a jumper, you can absolutely do that right now. Later that same evening. Are you back? Great. So, you should have a jacket and a coin. Ready? Okay. Now, balance the coin on the very tip of your finger, like this. The book has pictures, so I'm just going to show you though with my real hands. Now, now place your other hand over the coin like you're about to snap your fingers. Your middle finger should be almost touching the edge of the coin. It should look a bit like this. So the coin's on my finger, just here, and then my other finger here, my middle finger is right here, just like that. Perfect, okay. Now snap your fingers right next to the coin. Your snapping finger should whack the coin straight up your sleeve. Ready? Here we go. Watch this. <laughs> so cool. All right. Of course, it won't work the first time you try. You might drop the coin or forget how to click your fingers, or the coin might miss your sleeve and fly across the room and up the dog's nose. This isn't a good idea because your dog will end up with dozens of coins jammed up there and he won't be able to smell other dog's butts properly. But keep practicing because very soon you'll be a magician with your very own set of lying arms up your sleeves and a bunch of coins as well. There you go. That's the first couple of chapters of Tricky Nick. Uh, the story gets a little bit weirder after that. I head to the library and long story short, the fire brigade, get, the fire brigade gets called and oh, I can't go into it here. But I hope you enjoyed the book and I hope you look forward to reading more. See you later guys. Thank you.